Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' It's D, about to react to this impressive vid. This is Rihanna's Super Bowl show. It's better than Beyonce's. Uh, we still talking about this. Can we move on? The performance is over. It was mid. Let, let's move on. Uh, but Sierra also gets major backlash over a new song. Um, I have heard... <laughs> I've heard about this. Uh, let's see what Impressive has to say though. Let's watch. Hello everybody. Welcome to the Impressive channel. Sierra previewed some new music on her social media page and I think the song is called For the Girls. However, a lot of people are not feeling this song and they're not feeling the message because they feel like Sierra is promoting <coughs> women to be strong and independent and alone for the rest of their lives. <laughs> Now, these were some of the comments. Somebody said, me searching for the girls who ask for this song. Another person said, yeah, happily married good. women making single woman music is my favorite genre of irony. Another one said, I love Sierra, but it's obvious when she is trying to make a song for the sake of a hit. Talking about all the girls who don't need no man. Like we are all grown and we want the same as you, sis. Another person said, LOL, the R&B and rap girls be getting in the studio promoting women to be single and alone. And after they're done, they go home to their man. Another one said, why do kept housewives with rich men always want to push independence as if they really live that stuff? Another said, the audacity with a big ring on her finger. All right. and this, this is embarrassing to watch a married woman sing a song like this. You do not care about the black women in your community. You could easily make love songs since you are in love with your husband, but you are purposefully choosing to make a doing that will encourage the women in our community to stay single because you know that's what sells and makes money. Please make it make sense. Bring back love songs and stop trying to rob your community. The black women, a lot of black women don't want to be alone here. for the rest of their lives. They don't want to financially carry themselves and everybody else on their back for the rest of their lives. They don't want to be strong. They don't want to always be independent. A lot of black women want the soft life too. They want to be taken care of and loved on and provided for and protected as well. I think the whole independent woman narrative is not as accepted as it was before. Mm. And there's nothing wrong with being an independent woman. I think all women need to be able to take care of themselves and stand on their own at some point in their lives but they shouldn't have to accept the idea that being alone forever is okay because it's not really i mean most women don't really want to be alone and to be truthful this whole message has really worked against black women more than anything i can't speak for the other races of women but for black women in particular it hasn't been very helpful because a lot of black women are single a lot of them are single mothers and a lot of them have to financially carry the burden of taking care of their households so the whole strong independent woman narrative is not something that they're accepting right now especially not from somebody like sierra because sierra is living the life that a lot of women want to live i mean she is married to a wealthy football player who absolutely adores her so people are just not buying it and to me the song doesn't sound bad but i think the message is what threw people off I don't think it was Sierra's intention to push this Not message that women the bird, should be girl. happy being independent and alone. I don't think that was the intent, but that's what people are getting from it. So I think Sierra is going to have to really pay attention to the reception. If she's going to be releasing music, she has to listen to what her audience is saying. I think her audience would prefer that she releases music that reflects where she is in her life right now instead of making music that Valid. sounds trendy. Like, for example, her song Better Things was a cute record. I really like that song. I wish it did better than it did, but I know Sierra yeah, is independent it. now, so it's going to be a little harder for her to get her music out there. But I thought Better Things was a great record, in music and it definitely honest, falls in line with where Sierra is in her life right now. So I think she should continue on that wave. And she should also continue to make fun, carefree dance music. That's what I think she should do because that's what really works for her right now. Now, before I move mm. on to the next topic, no. I do want to thank Sonic Bonnet for sponsoring this video. The Sonic <laughs> Bonnet for this video. Now, let's get into this support. topic. Beyonce's yeah, former good. choreographer and creative director, Frank Gatson, got stung by the beehive after he claimed that Rihanna had the best Super Bowl performance ever. Now, All right. Is We're just going to lie. Hey, Rihanna. I have to say, you have He's clearly the bitter about Anyone something with Beyonce. I You're not making no sense. I don't, this is so nonsense. You. Enjoy your day. I can't wait to see where you go from here. Now, a lot of Beyonce's fans were actually confused and upset. And the reason why they were upset is because 
Frank Gasson used to work with Beyonce. And this is just a lie. Are we arguing with reality at this point? I, I guess that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing on, on the internet. Of course, I'm not surprised. But it, it's a blatant lie. This is not even up for debate. <laughs> Anybody who has working vision can see that Beyonce's performance was better. Like, what are we... Like I said, I want to skip this whole segment, to be honest. And he this really did stupid. help sharpen Beyonce as a performer in the early stages of her solo career. Now, just to give a brief background on Frank Gasson, Frank has worked with people like Michael Jackson. He's worked with In Vogue, Tony Braxton, Brandy, the list goes on. So he's actually a veteran in the entertainment industry. And when he started working with Beyonce, I think he really helped Beyonce elevate as a performer. Well, what did he now, say exactly? Because I, was, I wasn't performer, even, but behind I didn't even read it. I was just listening to what, uh, team. And Frank was what she said. So, I have to say, you've done the best work of anyone in my. Okay, this is that. She did a lot of great work with Beyonce. You can look back on some of Beyonce's eras and know. Yes. This one person said, "You reach it now. You know no one tops Queen Beyonce." Happy birthday, Riri. He said, "Beyonce is not hurt. Beyonce and I would always disagree on what's good and what's not, but mostly we believe in pure magic. That's why I worked with her so long. I was always honest about my opinion. I will never say something just to please an artist." Artists need the truth and other opinions to be great. That's why Beyonce is on the great island alone. She can handle a grown man opinion. That's why I have so much respect for her. She does the work with no drama like the people on this post. You they said a whole lot of nothing. Give us nothing, Frank. Someone else said, what like, makes it better? Better than Beyonce? I think you're just saying that because you don't work for B anymore. Because we all know she was the best Super Bowl. He said, I love Beyonce. She is amazing. I've compared Beyonce to the second of MJ. I'm talking about the Super Bowl in this post. My opinion is never personal. That has nothing to do with it. I'm very honest. Nothing. About what You're giving us nothing. What specifically was better? What? That's <laughs> Frank. Awesome. What, That's Frank? Opinion. Janet Jackson, number two. Beyonce, number three. MJ, number four. Beyonce, Bruno, and Coldplay, number five. I have a right to my and Rihanna opinion. Rihanna was rating number system. Rihanna Super Bowl was flawless. I don't want it to end. Up with people is number six. Got it? Another person said, the F, weren't you Beyonce's longtime choreographer? The fuck? He said, I love Beyonce, and she is amazing, especially all of her life. I f I'm so not even, I don't even want to comment on this. This is so ridiculous. Oh, wait. Dancers were clean and flawless. Okay, these are the dancers. Arrangements of songs were perfection. The band appeared out of nowhere. Amazing usage of the space was a one all that great space and the air was brilliant. Brianna was staged where Rihanna was confident. Rihanna came from chill and on his place. I'm pregnant. I'm going to get this done. Oh. <laughs> he likes her overall <laughs> chill vibe. And he talked about how great the dancers were and how great the... I'm in the fucking Twilight Zone. Do things calmly. That does not mean it's lazy. So this was a, a calm performance. And this calm performance is the best... Super Bowl performance you've ever seen, even over Michael the fucking Jackson. I I'm, I don't I'm done with this conversation. I don't I don't have anything else to say. I don't. I don't I, I'm I'm over it. I'm over it. <laughs> I can't. What the hell? I can't. I'm going crazy. I can't. I don't have anything else to say about that. I gave my opinion about Rihanna's Super Bowl performance. It's the same. I said what the fuck I said. It is what it is. Think what you like. Think. Live in whatever delusion. You want to live in anybody out there? I don't care. Let's talk about Sierra, okay? Because I have a lot of thoughts about this. I actually agree with what people are saying. I think it is very odd for Sierra to preach this narrative that you know you don't need a man as you are going home to your husband. It's very strange to uh push that message on people there's nothing wrong with being in a relationship there's nothing wrong with being in love as human beings we crave companionship and there is nothing wrong with that so to be like you don't need nobody you don't need no man that is just so like toxic and weird to me it, it, it it's so immature i feel like it comes from a place of like trauma and hurt when people say that i'm not speaking about sierra specifically because yeah it does seem like she clearly is just trying to pander to single women and she just wants a hit so i'm not talking about her but i'm saying when people say this in general i feel like it comes from a place of hurt and and you you know you've been done wrong so many times so you're trying to you know project and be like i don't need no man fuck these niggas 
it just screams that you don't have the emotional intelligence to uh, push past that and, and, and understand that everybody's different and, and still open yourself up to love. I, I just think it's it's weird. <laughs> it's so fucking weird. Or you're a woman who uh, feels like she'll never find love, so you want to try to flip the narrative and be like, I don't need it anyway. You know, I don't, I don't even want to be in love. Because you've never had it and maybe you feel like it's not in the cards for you. So you want to project it in that sense. I, I just think it's odd. Again, there's nothing wrong with wanting to be in love and wanting to be in a relationship. It's not everything. It does not define you as a woman or anything like that. But it's just so weird to lie to yourself <laughs> and, and say that you don't want a man and you never want to be with nobody. And you you comfortable with being alone for the rest of your life. Like that's just it's, it's such a weird narrative. And even if you're like, oh, I don't need no man right now. But, but later on, I, I want a man. That's also weird. It's just it's weird. <laughs> I also find it equally weird and toxic when men are like, oh, money over bitches and, and fuck these hoes. You also are, are speaking from a place of trauma and, and immaturity and hurt. Like, grow the fuck up. Grow up. Like, it's just it's it's just strange. Men need women. Women need men. Uh, it, it's how we are all here today because our father and mother got together. <laughs> like, what are we talking about? I just think it's, it's odd. I, I don't like the whole independent single woman narrative. I think it's very outdated. I think uh, way, way back in the day, it made sense to speak about how you're so independent because you know, you're know you doing things on your own and you don't need a man to take care of you. But in 2023, I don't think that narrative is even uh, necessary. Uh, as a grown woman, you should be taking care of yourself. What are we talking about? This is stupid. <laughs> Women are educated. They uh, have degrees. They're making a lot of money. Like, this is not something that is foreign. A lot of women are taking care of themselves. That's a part of being an adult. So I don't think that's anything to even brag about or it's not It's not worth mentioning. That's like saying, oh, I, I feed myself. I pick up the spoon. I put food in my mouth. Okay, that's what you're supposed to do. But what are we talking about? <laughs> so even if she's speaking from that sense, that's also weird. But no, she specifically says women who don't need a man. I think that's where it gets toxic. And even I heard a, a snippet of the song and she says, oh, if you're a woman like me and, and you don't need da da da. But again, you're going home to your husband. So that's not a woman like you. It's just weird. I find it to be strange. Um, I don't feel like, you know, we need to ride in the streets over. It's not that fucking deep. But I don't think people are doing it. They're just sharing their opinions online like they always do. So I don't think it's a big deal. People are just, you know, sharing how they feel about her hypocrisy. And it is very hypocritical. And people also come down on men who do this. People are on Gunna's neck right now because, you know, him snitching does not reflect uh, what he preaches in his music. People talk shit about the city girls. I even did as well. I talked about uh, Young Miami on this very channel and how, you know, her being down bad for Diddy, it does not reflect, you know, her being this city girl that she claims to be in her music. So people do call people out for being hypocritical and for, you know, their their music not matching their lifestyle. So it's not just, oh, poor Sierra, we just picking on her. No, everybody does this, you know, when, when the lyrics and the lifestyle doesn't match up. So I find it to be strange. They also made a good point that, you know, that this is uh, toxicity within the black community because, yeah, I don't I don't hear Ariana Grande and fucking Katy Perry talking about, oh, yeah, y'all be single, fuck these niggas. Yes, be by yourself, queen. You don't need nobody, queen. I don't, I don't hear that. I don't, that's not a thing. So why is it that? That's what's being preached in, in the black community. There's nothing wrong with, with wanting to be in a relationship and wanting to be loved and, and wanting companionship and, and not wanting to be alone for the rest of your life, wanting a life partner. There's nothing wrong with that. So fuck out of here, Sierra. I don't know why she even felt the need to drop this. Like I said, it does seem like she's pandering, which is just weird. It comes across disingenuous. Like, why... Why are you singing about this when this isn't your, your life at all? And, and I get that, you know, artists have people write for them. So she probably didn't even write this song. But okay, don't fucking accept it. Reject it. Be like, hey, no, this doesn't match, you know, my lifestyle. This doesn't match my brand. This has nothing to do with her fucking brand. When you think of Sierra right now, you think of Russell Wilson. You think of her being a family woman and her kids and shit. This has nothing to do with her brand. It's so off brand it's it's weird <laughs> what what is this so i do think it's odd and i think people have every right to call her out on it um so that's that those are my thoughts i'm not talking about this around the thing no more i'm done y'all let me know what y'all think though let me know what other videos you want me to watch and i'll see y'all in the next one Bye.